Looking at this side of this show. Talk to this here ring. Uh, what? I can't hear thoughts from rings, bro. It's talking to me! It's Anvari! Ha! Knew it. He says he went to the Velander mines to... observe his mistake. But then the Soul Eater attacked, so as he was being ripped apart, he cast a spell that removed his soul and put in this ring. And then he... What about all his stuff? Uh, huh? Anvari had a workshop here with all sorts of posh doodads and ornatory tools. And one beaut of a hammer. You make mention of it still in there? Uh, you're upsetting him. Your point? You fellas take Anvari with you and go have a look-see. If you find his hammer, I'll whip up something real nice for you. Hey now, don't go forgetting your entry stone. And Barry isn't happy about us taking the stuff. I do not care. I'm not gonna tell him that. Up ahead! Anvari says this dwarf was part of his crew. He died because of his mistakes. He sounds... sad. The ring's grief is of little importance, boy. Oh, he did not like that. He's warning us not to go down there. Stop listening to the ring, boy. It cannot be trusted. Silence that ring, boy. I don't know how!
soul leader. And a traveler. Guard up. Here. Boy. Yes, sir. Another map. Great. Dead soul eater. What's a soul eater even doing here? What do you mean it's your fault? Boy, ignore him. It's sort of tough for me to ignore. Trigger a bunch of traps. I see no traps. Sounded so sure about it.
Mario says his workshop is up there. But I know, I know. Don't trust the talking ring. Just listen. And Vari's crew did something bad. He's glad you destroyed his lab. And he's sorry you kept trying to trick us. His hammer is just through this gate. Boy, over here. Sir. Wonder who wrote this. <laughs> this is a fine hammer. And Vari says thank you. Talk to the blue one.
to find that ha hammer, or are you too busy looting every keyhole and cr Here, the alchemist hammer. His spirit is a nuisance. Yeah, Anvari always was an asshole. Hell of an alchemist, though. Hand him over here and I'll melt him down. What? You're going to melt down your friend? A trapped soul's what I need to give your reward some extra oomph. You don't want it? Father, we can't do that. Here, you hold on to him. He's really useful, I promise. <sighs> Fine. So long as he proves his worth. Kid's a bit of a softy, huh? Eh? Well, he'll grow out of it. Okay, what's good? Gonna get you, you little fart. Now go send them all to hell. In the road or chewing the fat? how Odin knew we were going to Jotunheim before we did. Odin is extremely clever, you see. Nearly as clever as he thinks he is. And he's a collector of prophecies. If it's about the future, he adds it to his collection. Helps him style himself as all-seeing and all-knowing. But of course, the idea is control. Control of the future, control of his fate. He'd control every realm of every land in every world if he could. Every potential pocket of resistance, he seeks to eliminate. Even if you've never posed a threat before, he may think one day you might. So you see, it's not important how he knew before you did. It's important that he was right.
was next to Mother's Garden this whole time. No wonder we can never get in there. serpent tell you when you spoke kind of sounded important I'm sure it's not then he just said the boy seemed familiar to him me that's impossible don't I quite agree Unless, perhaps, he refers to something yet to be. It is said that when Jormungandr and Thor battle at Ragnarok, their clash so violently shakes the Tree of Life that it splinters, casting the serpent backward through time, even before his own birth. What? That is madness. Well, I did say not to concern yourself. Atreus, 
To me! so desperate to find a way into Yodenheim, eh? <clears throat> He's convinced the Giants hold the key to changing his fate when Ragnarok comes. They are the Aesir's oldest enemies, after all, and it's their army that's supposed to do him in in the end. But more than that, he covets their gifts of prophecy. He wants to know what they know and see what they see. So much suffering could have been avoided if his insatiable curiosity was not so much stronger than his wisdom. Ah, remind me to tell you why they call him the Lord of the Hang. We got the key. We can open that big door anytime we want. Let's explore. Come here. Can you finish that story you started? Odin schemed to capture the visions of Ragnarok recorded by Groa, the Knowledge Keeper. I always knew Odin was bad. That's just... Ruthless? Barbaric? Heartless? That's Odin. In fact, we would do well to sit here in silence for the next few moments. reflect on Odin's capacity for cruelty. And so... Reflect longer.
So why do they call Odin the Lord of the Hang? That refers to a modest example of Odin's thirst for knowledge. The time he spent nine days a dead man. Aye, hung himself by the neck from Yggdrasil's branches, put his spear through his own side, and bled down into the Well of Destiny. He roamed the realms of the dead and plundered the royal tree of its secrets, until I think quite rightly it got fed up with him and sent him back to the land of the living. Did I not mention he was barking mad? This is it, right? The rock stool? Aye, lad. The Council of Valkyries. The Valkyries are of Valhalla, are they not? Glad to see you're paying attention, brother. You are correct. Valhalla, the great hall of the Ain Heriar, is their home within Asgard. But while there, they are subject to the scrutiny of the Allfather himself. And relations between the Valkyries and Odin were... tense during my tenure as his advisor. Why? Well, that's an even longer story, lad. For now, why don't we look around for some clues? This is none other than Gerdrifu, the Master of Arms in Valhalla, responsible for arming and training Odin's Inheria. His what? His army, come Ragnarok. The entire reason Valhalla exists, you see. The Inheria wait in the Great Hall endlessly, feasting, drinking, and fa- Ah, uh, fornicating themselves silly. Once Ragnarok begins, Odin calls them into service to fight on his behalf. Gerdrifu had her hands full training that lot. my friends, is Kara. Now, Valkyries are volatile by nature, but Kara, the lass is Wild Storm personified. A Wild Storm? Aye, calm and collected. Then the air would shift and the fury of her storm would unleash. It was beautiful in a way, assuming you could find proper shelter. Her tears would cleanse the blood-soaked battlefields. Ah, here we have Air, the healer. A Valkyrie healer? Strange. Air was strange, as a matter of fact. Very quiet. Very calm. Where our sisters were violent rapids, air was a ge gentle stream. She healed the wounds of both mortals and gods. And even a certain all-knowing sage who once drank too much and fell off a mountain. Ugh, not my proudest moment. to prevent Ragnar. But the serpent's already been there and seen him. So hasn't he already failed? Fate's a tricky thing, lad. And Odin's just arrogant enough to think he can get the best of it. Fate is another lie told by the gods. Nothing is written that cannot be unwritten. On that, brother, you and the old father may just agree. Even if he can't prevent Ragnarok, he still hopes to learn enough details to influence the outcome. Remind me later to tell you about the wolves.
this one, don't you? It's Tamu, the giant stonemason. Is he building a wall around Jotunheim? It was to be his masterwork. He only wanted to protect his people. Too bad the first part got burned. I prefer the last panel was burned. Such a senseless pity. Another Valkyrie. Are we doing this? On my action. Go! <laughs> 
Who did this to you? I remember only pain. And my queen. She locked me down here? But why? Ah, oh, Sigrun. I must leave you now. I must find her. I must remember. Sounds like your queen is responsible, Head. Aye. When I saw her last, she was different. Changed. And not just that she was in physical form. She was more volatile. She... I tried to talk to her about it, but... She had just come to say goodbye. I didn't think. I'm sorry, my dear. We'll find you. I'm sure she wants to be found. I just don't understand why she would do this. It doesn't make a lick of sense. And if she is responsible... Then we'll have to stop her. The Valkyries must be freed, and we are the only ones capable. We? Well, who do you think's gonna watch your back? <laughs>